Welcome back, Constitution Crew, for the reassemble and function check of the Mark 11 Mod 2 40 millimeter saloon battery. So, again, we have our MRC. It has our PPE, safety goggles, and latex gloves. And again, the note says, if you can't complete a step, report it back to the security department. So, first step, boom. Gloves, glasses, on. Second step, we're going to pick up our extractors and place them together. We're going to use our spindle extractor tool, which is already connected to our spindle. And we're going to use our left hand to place our extractors into the gun. And our spindle is going to go into our extractor lever. You're going to bring it down. Once you can get that in there, your extractor will fall. You'll use your thumb and middle finger to push up on the extractors while they're inside the gun. And you'll find that little sweet spot. And once the spindle is completely flush inside the gun, you'll spin off the spindle extractor tool counterclockwise and remove. Then we'll put our breech back together. Step says take the breech, put it upside down. You're going to take your sear and sear spring, and you're going to take your inner cocking lever, and you're going to place the sear and sear spring in. There's a little notch that's going to connect with your sear. You're going to push in on the sear. until the notch catches, like so. Then you'll take your outer cocking lever, and you see a little bit of the notch of the sear that's sticking out. The little elbow you see of the outer cocking lever is going to hold that. So it's not completely flush. That's OK. Use your cotter pin to pick up and adjust the inner cocking lever. Place the outer cocking lever like such so it's completely flush with the sear sticking out. Turn that back right set up. You'll take your right hand crankshaft and left hand crankshaft. Hands are for holding. This is going to hold our breech block in place. We're going to slide these on the sides. It does not click into anything, so you have to assist this fully the whole time. Now, we're going to take our crankshaft, and it has to go through our crankshaft hands inside the gun. We're going to push up until you can no longer push on the breech block. Now use your fingers to assist the crankshaft hands until you're in line. And your crankshaft's going to go right through like so and hold that. You can take your bushing. Take your cotter pin, pinch your cotter pin so it goes inside the bushing a little bit, makes it easier for reassembling. You're going to line this hole with the hole on your crankshaft. Once you have it aligned, you're going to push through until the cotter pin is sticking out. Now, we're going to grab our charting handle and mount it. We're going to mount this as forward as possible until it catches. Should be almost in the up and down position. We're going to pull back. It's going to stop on our crankshaft lever stop. We're going to pull that. Now it's going to stop again. Now we have to move our extractor lever and pull all the way down. This charging handle is now in the maintenance position. This is so we can safely get our firing pin inside there. If we remove this Starting in right now, this whole entire breach will fall and you damage to the, to the gun. Every step in our MRC will show you all the safeties, requirements as far as warnings and cautions. Now we take our firing pin, place it inside the back of the breach, followed by our firing pin spring, followed by our firing pin back cover. 
Now this thing has a little diamond engraved in it. You have to put that in the up position. When you are a T-Striker, push in. And there's also an arrow on the back of this breech. I'm going to line the diamond with the arrow. We're going to place this like so. Push in. And it'll be fully seated once that diamond is touching the arrow. We we'll remove our charging handle and put it back at that 90 degree position. That concludes our reassemble. But every time you reassemble a gun, you have to do something called a function check. So we're going to go right into how to do a proper function check. A function check's purpose is to make sure all the parts of the gun are working and operating correctly. So what we're going to do is go to our next MRC, which is our function check. And it says we're going to push on the charging handle forward. We're going to look down the barrel to ensure it's clear. And now we check all the functions. We're going to pull back on our charging handle and it should stop on our extractors. So now what we have to do is use our extractor lever, flick that towards us, and bring the charging handle towards us. Now it's stop on the lever stop, which is good, another function of the gun. So since the lever stop, or people call it our safety, is engaged, it's working, it did its job. Now we remove that safety, that lever stop to the side, and we'll pull it down towards us to fire the gun. Now what we're checking for is the firing pin to be protruding on the front of the bolt face. So I'll look underneath and verify the firing pin is there. You do this a total of three times. Push forward, ensure it's clear, pull back on the charging handle, pull back on the track lever, ensure it stops, pull back on your safety lever stop, pull down towards you. That's two. Check to see if the firing pin is protruding, still is. One more time, because that's what the MRC says to do. Push your charging handle forward, look down the barrel, ensure it's safe, pull back our charging handle, pull back our extractor lever, ensure it stops and our safety lever stop, pull back on that, pull down towards us, check for the third time, fire pin is present, and we'll pull back on that safety lever stop and dismount our charging handle. We'll pull our top cover down, and we'll do the last step, which is putting our back cover on. That's our stowed position. And that concludes our reassemble and function check of the Mark 11 Mod 2 40 millimeter ceiling battery.